In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a survey and permission slips for your parents to fill in. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log into SchoolSpider and as you're creating something for your parents, you're going to come down into your parents area here and you're going to be creating a survey or form. So if I click through into this, here's all of my previous surveys. I can clone these if I want to. But to create a new survey, I'm going to create new. And surveys can be used for absolutely anything. So permission slips or gathering information back from your parents, literally anything, anything where you need to get information back from your parents. So like everything within the parents area, it's always the parents of which pupils can fill this in. So first thing I'm going to do is attach my pupils. So the parents of these pupils can fill it in. So attach pupils. This sidebar comes out. I can search. I can create a survey for a particular uh, year group, a particular registration group, or any group that I have set up within School Spider. So all you do is select. I'm going to create a whole school one. So I'm going to select all pupils. And here's all of my pupils in the school. I highlight them all and I attach them. I'm just going to confirm it. You have further options here, so you can limit the number of completions. Uh, you can enable a start time and finish time for the survey to be available for the parents. Uh, you can allow the parents' replies to be anonymous, so maybe you wanted to get genuine feedback from parents uh, where you would they would like to remain anonymous for what they're posting, so you'd select that here. And you can restrict it to only one reply per pupil, so that stops mum and dad replying at the same time. So I'm going to give it a title. So we're going to do a trip. So Chester Zoo, and this is going to be a permission slip. I can add a description, so I might add a bit of a description about my trip to Chester Zoo, what the times are, that kind of thing. I might have a file that I need to upload or a few files that I need to upload to distribute to the parents. So I'd fill those things in. First thing I'm going to do, I need to create my questions. So I'm going to add a question. I'm going to type my first question. So my first question is, we're creating a permission slip. So my first question is, I give permission for my child to attend the Chester Zoo trip. Now, that would be a yes or no answer. So you have different types of answers that you can request from parents. So a short text is, you know, just a, a couple of words, really. Long text answer, that can be anything up to a few paragraphs. Multiple choice where one answer can be selected. So that, that's this really, either a yes or a no. Multiple choice where many different answers can be selected at the same time. So if you need different options, they will be selected. And you can request a signature box. So this permission, uh, this first question is permission. It's a yes or no. So it's a multiple choice where one answer can be selected. So I select that. And now I give my answers that the parent can, can answer. So I'm going to put yes, and I'm going to put no. I'm also going to ask what the pupil would like to have for their lunch. So I'm gonna add a question. What would your child like for lunch on this day? Again, we're going to give different answers for the parent to be able to choose. So this is a multiple choice where one answer can be selected. So I'm gonna give the answer. So it might be a ham sandwich, uh, a tuna sandwich, and a cheese sandwich. So that's great. And the last thing that I'm going to ask for is a signature from the parent just to confirm what has been chosen. So it gives that extra layer of security. Uh, so I'm going to say, please sign here. And for this, I'm going to choose a signature box. So I have my three different questions that I'm requesting from the parent. Now, what I'm going to do is going to hit publish. And what that's going to do is going to send the message, uh, a message directly to the parent's phone, to their mobile app, and it's also going to send them an email. So I'm going to hit publish and confirm. So I have my mobile phone loaned, loaded up here. So in this other tab, this is my mobile phone, as if I'm a parent at that school. So you see here, this is my mobile phone, and you can see up here in my notifications, this one here, a new survey for Tommy and Molly. So I can just click into that. And there's my email that's come through as well to say that there's um, a, a survey available. So if I just click one of these, I can then, as a parent, I can fill this in on behalf of my pupil. So I just click Tommy's. I give my child permission to attend. Yes, I do. What would your child like for lunch? Well, he'd like a cheese sandwich. And then I can just use my finger as a parent to just sign here. So that's great. And then I'm going to submit my answers. 
brilliant. And then I might do one for Molly May also. Yes, she can attend. She wants a ham sandwich. And again, I'm just going to sign it and submit. So now as a parent, I've, I've filled in my information. It was super, super quick. So if I come back to being you guys, um, and then you can see in here that School Spider starts to break down all of your answers into graphs for you, and it gives you all of the um, signatures that they've done as well. You can download everything as PDF or Excel. If you need to message the parents, the nice thing about School Spider is everything is integrated. So you're using the communication system with us. You can use you can click message parents and then you can choose to message parents who have or haven't answered. Maybe you need to nudge them to say, oh, please, can you log in and make sure that you've answered? And all this is going to do is going to pop open the messaging system for you in here so you can write your message and send it. This is a really good way to get permission back from parents for different things, to survey your parents on absolutely anything. It's a really powerful way to just get any type of information back from your parents.